Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator where today can we maybe finish the Geodome? I'm thinking probably not but we'll see. Uh, we were going along pretty good but last episode we only got to up to 65%. We'll see how far we get. Uh, first thing we're doing today is the prefab walls. I just went down and picked them on up. Uh, it says in, I gotta install like eight more but I think there's only four there. And only two here. That is a total of six. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, can we unlock these, please? All right, there, there's those two. Now we'll unlock these four. All right, back into the crane, and let's get these installed. I also notice I'm getting pretty close to getting up to level 25, and then, of course, I'll have another skill point to use. Oh wait, are there... Okay, so there's actually four in here. Okay. Ah, I see. I see why it looks like two. Gotcha. All right, so we have mole here. So it's like, I hope I hope nothing's bugged out, uh, but we're good to go. Uh, let's swing this over to here. And plop this down. One down, eight more to go. So we're just going to grab whatever. And put them on into place. Uh, looks like this one can go over here. Getting close to see what this building's going to look like. I don't know if we'll be installing the glass domes on top. I would assume there's going to be a glass dome on top somewhere. Since we got plants in the middle of the buildings. Lower that down, we're good. Let's grab one of these small ones again. And of course, we do know, I think the first step after this one's gonna be pouring more concrete because we got more, well, maybe not. Maybe those are just the ceilings that we gotta put in and maybe we want the pouring more concrete. I don't know, but it seems like all I've been doing on this job is pouring concrete. But the more times I do it, I seem to be getting slowly but surely better with a concrete pump. And I'm not too sure, but this one, this might be the last job that we do have with the, uh, that scientist that seemed, at the beginning he seemed very, um, well, not pleased uh, and didn't really seem to want to talk to us, but as we get jobs done for him, he seems more appreciative of what we're doing here. I mean, we are getting the job done. Are we getting it done good? Uh, I suppose so, compared to the other contractor, which didn't do anything. I didn't see where this one's going to go. I assume it's just going to be... Nope, never mind. I think it's going to go right here. Alright, two more to go that I suppose... Well, those are going to be in the way. We'll have to get rid of these, uh, these crates before we bring those ceiling plates over. Concrete ceiling... That's uh, right behind us in the building materials drop-off point. I think we got like six or seven of them over there. Come on. All right, you just don't want to fall over the edge there. Okay, there we go. Now, one more to go. All 
And this has got to go way over here. Alright, clear the marked area. Let me get the crane over to here because I think we're going to be moving these very soon. Uh, four, yeah, six of them. Alright, let's get out of the crane and <laughs> now the fun part, I'm trying to get rid of these things. Sometimes I get it right away and other times I do not. I think I got to look up. Oh, the first try today. How about that? All right, uh, get in somewhere like right about there, and no. Oh, third try. Either way, they are gone. Uh, so it's like all six of them got to go over here, which makes sense. Uh, I do have another skill point. Let me go ahead and see uh, profile skills. Let's see what, uh, let's see, fuel efficiency and wear efficient driving. Um, that's the only two things that we got left, right? There's, there's nothing else here. No, there is nothing else. So I think we'll just go even Steven on the fuel efficiency and wear efficiency. So let's go ahead and just put it into that, I suppose. All right. But it does remind me though, that I got to get some of these vehicles down and get them refueled just to get us to the total of 10 so we can upgrade our company. I kind of forget what our rating is or how the ratings go. I haven't really looked at the page long enough since the last time I, I upgraded the companies, which is on the USA map. So even though we completed the stage, percentage-wise on the entire job, we haven't gone up a whole lot, but... You know, just keep on doing the jobs as they come, and eventually we'll get there. Would be nice to finish it today. I, I would hate to end the episode being at like at 95% or something. But then again, I also don't want the episodes going too long. An hour is about as long as I want them to go. But if we get that close, I may say, oh, let's go a little bit longer. But sometimes those last jobs... Could take like another 15 minutes or so. And then we might get a job like we got to pave a road or something. That may take like five minutes. Okay, it was longer than five minutes. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean. But this is all the building material that we got left. We've got everything from the building materials store the first time. Last but not least, the last one. And this area will be clear. And then, of course, I'll probably have to come over and unpackage them, and then we'll place them on top. So I'm going to leave that right there. How many are we going to place? Like 14? Uh, okay, for me, I thought it was stuck in there. Uh, concrete the ceiling. Okay, so yep, we're going to have to do that. And packages of steel frames. Um, well, I think, just want to make sure, double check that they're not here, which I don't see them. Uh, steel frames. Let's go get those. Steel frames. Where's the steel? That's the building area. That looks like a steel. Steel trade. Uh, I'm just going to assume that they're down there. Um, where... Where's 
just a loading zone for the steel. Oh, right here. Ah, it's not like the other building materials. I actually got to load these myself. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, it sounds kind of lazy when I say it like that, but it's kind of nice when you go through the other one that is like, yeah, we'll load it for you. get this on the back here um, I'm guessing am I gonna be able to fit all three on here well how about if you actually drop it when it's actually in the green zone now <laughs> uh, it's all good I saw the ghost image I'm like yeah just drop it there might want to wait until it's actually in the zone so I don't have to worry about it falling down 15 feet. Now, looks like we'll get all three on here. At least I say we will. Uh, reset that. Change the driving mode. Alright. And then, of course, fast travel back up to the geodome. And we'll use the big crane to put them in place. I mean, I could use the crane on the truck, but... I think this crane is going to be a little bit quicker for it. And since we don't really have to run up the ladder. So before I put these up, I'm probably going to want to pour the concrete first. So these won't be in my way. Oh, you wanted to go in that one, not not the middle one, which, which is where I was trying to get you. All right, I'm going to leave you right there. All right, concrete the ceiling. Well, that's what it does say next anyway, so I don't have the choice of uh, putting those on first. Uh, I probably should actually looked in the crane while I was up there to see exactly where I need to concrete, but I think uh, we're going to go to our starting point like we've been going to. Which is right into here. Alright, and change driving mode, or change mode, not driving mode. We want to be out of driving mode. wonder how far I can get this to go before I run into hitting the top of the building. It's like right about there. So, pouring on. And let's see how I do today. Probably not well. But we'll do our best. Uh, oh, I'm running out of fuel. Yeah... Okay. Let's see if we can get this job done before we do run out of fuel. Just don't fold up on me. I'm just trying to get close to the truck as I can.
course, now I'm hitting that, so I need to raise that while extending that, I hope. Alright, not doing a good job at it, that's for darn sure. Well, we're somehow 11% done. So I think maybe before I uh, move this again, or when it comes time to move it, I should probably go down and fuel up because I don't know what happens if you run out of fuel. Is there a fuel truck that you can buy at the store? I mean, yeah, I can fast travel down to uh, the fuel depot, but if I don't actually spawn right where we fuel up, how would I move it? So I should get this down there and fueled up. I get all haywire now with the controls. Well, we're up to one third of the way done, so that's not too bad. I can't see. Am I kind of extended as far as, far as I can get? Yes, I am. All right, so let's go ahead and reset that. Uh, we'll change modes. And before we run out of fuel, let's just get this down to the fuel depot. Now, where do I actually spawn in down here? Yeah, not quite... Uh, not quite in the trigger, so if you run out of fuel... I have no idea if there's a fuel depot or not. Uh, let's go ahead and... Whoops, gotta press and hold it, I guess. That, that helps. And while we're here... We'll repair it as well. Alright, and let's go back up here, fast travel. All right, let's go ahead and move over to here. Now, someone did mention, as la uh, I think it was last episode, that if I get the other concrete pump, kind of like what I had on the USA map, I guess the uh, where it can reach will go further. But then I won't, you know, I, <laughs> it's it's a benefit doing it one way, then benefit from doing it the other way. Uh, this is the machine that we got here, and I have no problem moving it once in a while. And I actually prefer doing it this way rather than uh, just because I don't have to keep getting out and moving out the concrete mixer at the same time. All right, that almost worked out rather good. Uh, probably should empty out for 99 credits. And then just fuel up, uh, fuel up, <laughs> refill with concrete. Uh, turn the pouring on, turn the pouring on. Don't think I'll get up to the 66% uh, this time. really close to where it might fold up on me. I 
I will say, as I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I think uh, using the concrete pump as much as I have on this job here, it's definitely made me a little bit better with it. Still got a lot of improvement to do personally, but uh, overall, not as bad as it has been in the past. And 51%. Uh, wait a minute. I should be able to extend that a little bit further. Of course, I'm not facing the right way, so the controls are backwards to me. I'm not going to get that much more, but reach what we can. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and reset that. Back into driving mode. Let's run into our our office building, maybe? Where the site manager probably is in there doing some paperwork. Nighttime is approaching. Can I get this done before it gets too dark? Probably not. Ah, yes, I'm, I'm hitting the... There we go. Raise it on up. There we go. That'll do it. And when it goes dark, it goes dark quick. All right. So when I run out of concrete here, which won't take us too long, I don't think. Uh, whoops. Sorry, I was looking at my concrete levels rather than what I'm doing for pouring. Almost out of concrete. We'll skip to the morning. And we'll finish this up. Alright. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, coffee break. Yep. Until the morning hours. There we go. Let's get back in. Refill that. Turn the pouring on there. And then turn the pouring on here. And try to get up to 80% before I move once more. I think that's where... Yep, that's where we're going to have to call it. So let's go ahead and... Oop, yep, yep, I know, my bad. Got to reset it first, I know. And 
if I park just right, hopefully I can get the last 25% done. Filling this up rather quickly, it seems like. It's getting over these uh, barriers here. I wish they, these barriers weren't here. Everyone wants to do safety stuff. Safety third, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so we just got to get 8% more. As long as I just uh, go along here and let the concrete do its thing, I think we'll have no problem getting the rest done. And there we go. Let's go ahead and reset this. Put that in the driving mode. And probably got to remove this from the construction site at some point. So let's get this off the work area. Get it across the street. Right, let's go and pack the construction material. And we are 83% done, so I don't want to say we're going to get it done here pretty soon. But how many pieces we actually got to put up here? Uh, just six of them, so that shouldn't take too long to pop those up. Okay, do I not see? Oh, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. I'm doing these things. Okay, I was like, there's no trigger above it. Ha <laughs> ha That's not lifting it up the way I thought it would. Oh, I don't like this camera angle at all. Uh, okay, so these are specific ones, apparently. So, <laughs> where is this one going? Uh, is it this one here? This one looks like it's a different shade of blue. Yeah, it's that one there. I'm glad it snapped in because if that fell down, that would not be uh, a good time. Yeah, there's uh, big ones and small ones. So that's why it probably didn't fit there too well. Alright, so where where are you going? I think this one over here will do. I 
definitely want to make sure it's in the green. I don't want it dropping all the way down to the trees. Well, since we did the two big ones, let's get the third one. Not raise it as high as I've been raising. I think that's high enough. Nope, it's not. Okay. <laughs> not quite high enough. Now the first of the small ones. Nice and gentle. It's the way I am with a crane. This one will go here. And now the last one, then I'll assume we'll put the A-frames up or the uh, roof pillars. We just gotta wait to see what it says. Uh, unpack construction material. It's gonna be more of them, probably. Yep, now I gotta do seven of them. And then my guess is after I do that, I'll have to make another set. Well, we started with the big ones last time. Let's continue with that uh, process. We'll grab the big ones first. I definitely hope they'll snap in because they fall down all the way through and I got to fish it out of there. That could be uh, problematic for me. So, I mean, these are going to be the frames, I suppose, for the glass to go in later on. Yeah, they probably have already talked about where they don't want me doing the glass. See what kind of mood our uh, friendly scientist is in once we finish the geodome.
Is that high enough? Just barely, but it made it. It's all that matters. Yeah, could you imagine that? Just me misclicking and it drops all the way down by those trees. I mean, I think it would come out. It would just be a little bit difficult to get it to fit through there. All right, three smaller ones, which are going over here, I think. Yeah, let's get this one over here, I think. I choose you to be the first one of the small ones. be kind of cool if they had the, like uh, welders down there taking these steel pieces and welding together but honestly if it was me up in this crane I'm not sure I'd want to be below it myself Let me guess. Unpack construction material. Surprise, surprise. And how many pieces we got left? Six more, maybe? It's going to say six. Ah, no. Uh, only five. And I think that will complete it because we are 95% done. So, I mean, after we do these five, and then, of course, we go talk to our friendly scientist, that should do it, I would think. Uh, are these all the same? Uh, no, they're not. Wait, it says five, but there's more than five here. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, I can see... Okay, you want to snap over there? Alright, so you must be one of these over here then, maybe. I'm a little nervous because it says uh, one of five done, but you can see we got many more than that here. Maybe I'll auto-finish them once I get the five done. I mean, if I got to do them all, that's not a problem. I just hope that the game doesn't glitch out or something. Uh, do you want to go... There? I don't think you do. That doesn't seem like the right fit. Don't don't you don't you uh, bug out on me. I don't see where this is going, honestly. I think these three smaller pieces. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and put this back down, and we'll stick with the the five big ones, I guess. I'll actually put it right back down where I got it from. Alright, do you want to go in this spot that I'm trying to put you this time? No, you want to... Okay, you want to snap to the other side of it. Eventually, one of you has to go there.
He's going to try again. He's going to try. He's going to try to put it in the spot. Will you accept this one? Um, it, it did drop and go in place. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's too bad we really don't get to do any of the, I want to say finishing touches. I mean, we are on the building itself. We are putting the finishing touches on it. So I'm thinking the last three pieces that are over there, those are going to be the caps to each of the domes. I kind of hope we get to do that. And I guess we do. All right, so this one is on this side, so we'll do this dome first. Almost got on there perfectly on that. How about that? All right, this one should go into the middle. Not that it matters, but it was in the middle of the three, so we're going to put it on the middle dome. going to just come out and say it. This should be the last step other than talking to the scientists afterwards. Well, other than clearing the, uh, the site. All right, let me just get it right out of the crane. And dismantle. Uh, let's clear the job site, which is nothing more than moving the man truck in our trailer. All right, where is this dude? I don't know. He's the foreman, but that's fine. Go have a chat with him. Astro Biasis? I had a feeling you'd get it done. It's weird to stand in front of a building you've been imagining for so long. You know, I developed the first idea for the geodome back in university with Lucy. I never thought I would be standing in front of it one day. It looks even better than the 3D model. I can hardly wait to do my daily rounds. Now, we can simulate the surface of Mars and see how our plants would behave on an alien planet. It's like having your own piece of outer space here on Earth. I know I'll never be an astronaut, but I think I like this almost better. Thank you for turning this into a reality. Well, he's turned into a friendly person. Ish. Well, there's all the glass they didn't want me to handle.
Doesn't look too bad. I mean, not quite the way I envisioned it, but uh, there is the uh, Geodome. And it got us up to $1.8 million in the bank account, which is rather nice. Yeah, I don't think we can go in the buildings. I think I tried that before. Doesn't quite work out too well. Uh, let's go ahead and see job-wise, campaigns. Um, is that all that we got here? Yeah, so we are done with the science and technology. So now we can go on to economy and spacecraft. Uh, so it looks like we'll be doing the vehicle assembly building next, uh, of course, and we'll see, uh, see how she treats us when we first go over and talk to her. Hopefully she's a little bit more friendly than the, than his, his, uh, I don't even know what his name is now, um, than what he was. Uh, I want to bring all these vehicles down, uh, refuel and, uh, repair. If I go into company and upgrade levels, uh, yeah, so we are, we are at, the S level, I suppose we've done three construction. We got three construction machines, uh, nine locations. I don't know what that really means. What do I mean? Nine, nine locations. I have no idea. Uh, three contracts. So, um, refuel 10 times, which I think I've done more than that repair. I think I've done more than that. And I haven't done a contract yet. Um, but that's fine. Nope. Oh, nope. Wrong button. Uh, company upgrade levels. Uh, yeah. I want to check this out here. Um, yeah, so it's refueling and repairing. It's what's, uh, kind of, uh, slowing me down a little bit on some things, but that's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um, as long as we get to do the contracts as we go along here, I am fine with that. But, um, yeah, not too bad for the Geodome and we'll be continuing on, of course, building the next building next time, but that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.